Hey, this is Pat, and today we are checking out the all-new Revit Airwave 4 jacket. Now, if you're looking at the Airwave 4, it is replacing the Airwave 3 in Revit's line, which was one of the most popular options, especially under the $300 price point. And it, overall, it's getting great updates, both in the overall style, the protection, as well as the abrasion resistance. And again, I think it's got a better look to it, just because it has, they're going for a bit of an ADV look to it, but for commuter riders out there, I think it's still going to be one of the best options on the market. And overall, the jackets are going to be the same between the men's and women's versions, but let's talk about the overall sizing difference with our model Lee. Now Lee is 5'5", 130 pounds, has a 36 inch bust and a 36 inch chest measurement. When we threw the Airway 4 on her, it fit in a size 36, which is about two sizes smaller than what the sizing chart recommends. And we say that because it does fit her nice in the arms and the hips, but it is a little bit loose in the midsection. So if you're looking at that size chart, get your measurements and then go down at least one full size to two full sizes when you're picking out your own. Now the Airway 4 does come in three colorways with a all black, a gray and pink, as well as a silver and anthracite. Now, looking at the men's version on Spurgeon, you actually get two additional colorways. So now it has five colorways compared to the women's three. And it's coming in sizes ranging from extra small up to four extra large, $270. The price hasn't changed, but the overall fit, as you can tell in Spurgeon, is fitting him spot on. He is in the size large. He has a 44 inch chest. He's six foot three with 220 pounds. And that's actually one size down from what the Revit size chart recommends. So if you're taking a look at that size chart, take your measurements, reference the size chart, and take one step down for a nice, comfortable fit, including space for the back protector. Now, as we look at the main construction of the jacket, starting up at the top, you do have an adjustable snap collar with a tuck away position for that collar on the interior of the left side, so you can snap it away. And when we get to the outer side, you're gonna see a polyester ripstop main construction, as well as three layer soft shell running down the outside. That is a new feature from the Airwave 3 to the Airwave 4. You are getting this nice three layer soft shell. It's a nice material, got a great hand to it, and I think it holds itself very well, especially considering you're getting that CEAA rating throughout. That abrasion resistance is really built in, and it is supported by extra PWR ripstop on the outer elbow. That's a high chance likelihood of landing on that area in the event of a crash, so I like that they reinforce that. Looking at the inner sleeve, you're going to see that PWR mesh running down the inside. There's no liner, so that's going to flow a ton of air through the jacket on those hotter days and really help cool you down. You get one slide adjuster down at the forearm, as well as a Velcro closure down at the cuff. So a very simple system. Again, under $300. I like that they're investing more in the materials as well as the protection than any creature comforts that I think you could do without. I like that they're keeping it nice and simple. So moving up to the chest, you do have a YKK zipper main entry as well as welded perf up at the top. So it's laser welded perf just to get some added airflow going through that PWR material. And you get that PWR mesh to add into that airflow going down the entire front of the torso. As Spurgeon is demonstrating, you do get two hand warmer pockets on each side. And what I like is those are mesh backed as well. So it's not gonna hinder any airflow going through to your chest. Spurgeon, you can go ahead and face the side and hit the riding position for me. What I'm gonna show you right here is the C, uh, CE Level 1 C-Smart Armor. You do get that at the shoulder as well as at the elbow. That is included right out of the box. Really soft, really malleable. I do like that Revit uses that. Going down the outer sleeve, you'll notice the Revit logo as well as some more PWR mesh running at the side, uh, or on the back of the tricep, excuse me. Little bit of stretch coming down the shoulder blade. Would have loved to seen a little bit more under the $300 price point. I'm not too upset about it, but I do like that they added a little bit of elastication inside that material at the side. Just for hucking over into more aggressive riding positions, you can go ahead and have that material move. You can go ahead and face the back, sir. Up at the upper back, you do get reflective in the Revit logo, as well as, again, a massive panel of PWR mesh just to get all that hot air that's coming in from the front of the jacket out and expelling it out of the back. More reflective, as well as reflective Revit logo, and a drop seat at the base as well. Spurge, you can go ahead and turn to the front. Go ahead and unzip there. One thing I want to call out I do like is up at the top, you do have a little bit of fabric underneath the main zipper where it comes up to the neck, so it's not going to bite you in any more aggressive riding positions. That zipper's not going to hit you in the throat and cause any discomfort. If we look at the interior, you do have mesh all the way throughout the interior with two stash pockets on each side, as well as a cinch cord on the base in case you need to pull in some excess material so it's not flapping in the wind while you're going down the highway. You do have that option, as well as belt loops at the back so you can connect it to any pair of pants that you are riding with. You can go ahead and zip that up, sir. 
So the Air Wave 4, again, both for the men and women, I think this is a great upgrade from the Air Wave 3. I think Revit's moving in the right direction, and for the $270 price point, they didn't change the price for all the added features and protection with that CEAA, C1, C Smart at the elbows and shoulders that you're getting for that price tag. I think Revit did a great job in updating this one and giving a lot of features to the customers without charging any additional cash. But if you have any other questions about the Air Wave 4, go ahead and click that info button. That's gonna take you over to the product page where you can read other rider reviews and see what other riders are saying about this jacket. If you still have questions after that, our customer service team is always available and happy to help out and get you set up for your next ride. I wanna thank you for joining Spurgeon, Lee, and I and checking out the all new Revit Airwave 4 jacket. I'm Pat, I'll see you in the next video.